I have a challenge for every viewer and also every photo photographing YouTubers. Stay tuned to find out what the challenge is. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And let's get right into the business. The challenge is make the best image of a toilet paper roll, as you can imagine. And this is also for other YouTubers as it is for my viewers. But let's start to make my take on that image. And here I have a toilet paper roll. It's sitting on a LED light and I will tell you later why it's on top of a light. But let's start first. As you can see from, from this image or this footage that I have a light that's lighting my face, it will give a nice and general light for the, for the paper roll. My goal is trying that I'm trying to make a, a classical portrait light for the uh, toilet paper. And as I said, I want to see your take on this. But let's start with the with the lights. As I said, there is the light that's uh, a general light for all the, the scene that's lighting my face. And then I'll have one light right here. And let's turn it on. And as you can see already, it looks a bit better. And then I will have a small Uladzi light here for the background. And then what I need is something to light the top. And that's why I have another light right here, which I can turn on. And now you can see how it looks. The final image will be a square image. So now that I will have the, the uh, uh, tripod leg in the image. So don't worry, it won't be there when I actually will make the image. Okay, here you see the setting. I actually changed it a bit and uh, the first setting wasn't perfect. The uh, these two lights, they are like they were. But then I added the light here, you know, the light here behind, right there, because then I could get some, let's see if I can show it to you. Then that's why I, I wanted to have some light on the side because it was too dark. Having a, wait a minute, that's a fourth light, made it a bit better, the image. And let's see, and here is the the crop that I made. Let's see if I can get it sharpened the image. And here's the crop, as you can see, it's it's pretty clean and nice. And as you can see, the on the side you have the well maybe we can see it better from here. You can see that there is some light on the light on the on the side here, and which which works a little bit better. Then I also changed the or put some, uh, what do you call the a diffusion on this light, because these lights, as you can see from here, you have one of those grids. The problem with the grid, that it will give you several different, um, what do you call, shadows. And that's that's a problem in the image, and I need to fix that in post, because there is, over here, there are several uh, kind of like uh, edges on the on the shadow and that's not nice that's not nice at all and then as you can probably see i don't have it on top of the light anymore that was not a good idea instead what i have is a small flashlight here which i will drop in there and voila now you can see and the image will be black and white so no problem with the with the color of the light but let's grab the image and here we go all right now we have it okay and here you can see the final image this is what it came out or actually this is straight out of camera this version and as you can see there's a lot of things that i need to do and here you can see the problem with the with the shadow and that's that's the biggest problem when you have led lights and then there is some you know something needs to be cloned but this is the final version right here and it works really nice with the black and white and I think I made a pretty good image I'm not totally satisfied this is not the best ever toilet paper image that I've, <laughs> that I've seen but it's the best one I've taken because it's the first one and here you can see I think this adds some more when I added the light back there and it's, it's easier to to have the shadow uh, quite natural when it's on the table it be, when it was uh, lifted up it was a bit harder to get the the shadow really correctly then i've made a small vignette here it will have some more light in the front and it will kind of lead your your way to the 
to the uh, fine or the the lighter part of the of the toilet paper. It might be a bit too bright. I might uh, lower the the exposure here too because the brightest part should be here. And then I think it's kind of nice the shadow and and the side light makes the texture pop out from the from the. Uh, uh, texture what, what it has in, in, in the toilet paper and then also a small vignette here and as you can see the backlight is over here it's it's nice and subtle but it works good this is not wouldn't that would not have been that good if this this was as dark as this here so i think the backlight is is quite essential and here you can see the small light over here is is really nice it's i might lower the the highlight a bit but i think i will let this image be like this but this was my take as a classical portrait of a toilet paper. All right, and now it's your turn. I want to see your image of toilet paper. And this is a challenge for all those photographers that do YouTube videos and do tutorials about photography. I want to see your toilet paper. I'm, I'm sure you can do better than I can. The way to do it is just to make a video when you photograph the toilet paper and Use the hashtag toilet paper photography challenge. Hashtag toilet paper photography challenge. And also, my viewers, you can do that too. And paste, uh, paste it, post the image into social media sites and use the hashtag toilet paper photography challenge. And let's see what we can come up with this a bit fun and funny photo challenge. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.